Hey guys, what's up? It's Kahoob here. So today I'm going to be showing you Elixir app. So if you're really into Bitcoin, then this is perfect for you. If you also really like gaming, these are not blockchain video games, but these are games that you can play that are just general fun games uh, that allow you to earn Bitcoin uh, Satoshis. Um, as you can see, my balance right here in the Elixir app shows I have 212 Satoshis and I have one NFT. So they have NFTs as well. So if you're really into NFTs and it's also good for you, um, they have a marketplace as well of buying and selling NFTs and I can open it in my soda, but um, I can easily buy and sell NFTs and uh, earn them in game as well and then sell them on the marketplace. So uh, also there's free NFTs as well. So um, it says uh, invite a friend and I think it should say they will receive. I don't know why it's saying he because I mean, there's also women who are into Bitcoin and crypto. Anyways, it says they will receive an NFT for free. Once your friend has joined Elixir Marketplace, he receives a random asset from the Light Knight game, which I have Light Knight as well, but I did not buy it through Elixir. I bought, um, I have it, bought it through the original websites on Steam now. Anyways, I'm going to get started into the game pretty soon. Once I show you the marketplace a little bit more, let's see if I can go to my wallet. I guess it says he will receive it. So if you're a she, then you're not going to receive anything. Just kidding. Um, they should definitely change the wording on that. Uh, okay, so there is a withdraw button, as you can see. If you're wondering, like, okay, well, yeah, this says Satoshi's, or it's supposed to represent Satoshi's, but um, how do you really, like, can you even withdraw it, or what can you do with it? So you can withdraw it, um, and you, you use the, uh, the Lightning Wallet. So you can use BitRefill as well to buy gift cards with it. So it's really cool, you know, you're playing these video games, you earn Bitcoin, you can buy gift cards or you can withdraw to your um, lightning wallet, like Satoshi wallet or wallet of Satoshi, I mean, or anything like that. As you can see, my NFTs are right here. So I think it's the only one I have, but uh, I can withdraw it or I can go to the marketplace and sell it like right here. It's worth 18,900 Satoshis. It's down 11%. I probably should have sold it when it was above 20,000 Satoshis. You can see the price range, the total supply, the circulating supply, the asset popularity it seems to be going down uh, since nine, since, uh, what is this, uh, January 1st to, yeah, okay, I don't know. This is just going down. Um, so yeah, there's sell it now, buy it now. You can sell an NFT. I can sell my Cypherpunk bag and there tells you the lowest sell order and your balance before the sale, balance after the sale. And each uh, closed trade has a 10% commission fee, which is kind of how Elixir makes their money other than buying the games to make their money. It's also the NFT marketplace of buying and selling them, which uh, gives them money as well. Because technically speaking, uh, especially if you get these games for super cheap, like I did, uh, not the marketplace, if I go to the store, and you buy these games you can see lightning strikes only like four bucks and hodl or defense is like three bucks and sugar stats three bucks so when you're getting buying all these games which i did all the ones that are like 70 percent 50 percent off and all that i bought all of them and i already had light night so the only games in here i don't have are whisper of soul which i'm probably gonna buy it looks really cool 2140 which also seems really cool i'll probably buy then guns and runs i like the animation style so i, I like the pixelated so i might buy that one as well um but you're probably wondering, well, if you're buying these games, how long will it take to recoup the amount that you bought the game for? It obviously, it depends on the price of the game and which game as well. Uh, in my opinion, I probably wouldn't buy any of these games if it's to try and make a profit. Hang on a second. Okay, so this is <clears throat> Sugar Sats, kind of like Candy Crush. As you can see, I've been playing a lot of it because it's one of the games that um, are actually pretty good and pretty easy and you can make a lot of satoshis doing it and the one thing about these games as well is you have to be careful in them because you can lose satoshis as well certain games where you die in it you'll actually lose some sats so you didn't want to make sure that doesn't happen um also if you know fold uh, they have a daily spin wheel on fold it's kind of similar with this bonus spin you just get a free spin looks like my 24 hours isn't up yet so if i wanted to do a bonus spin it would cost me but sometimes you can get free satoshis like right there and stuff um right with that or get some other perks so we're gonna move up and do level 18. so it tells you your objective spread the jelly everywhere and you can select a booster but i think they cost money oh no oh no okay that one does yeah, these do. I'm not trying to spend any Satoshis on these games, but looks like this one's free, so I guess I'll select it. I could turn up the sound a little bit, um, and these games are pretty fun. I mean, 
this one's like made in unity there we go you probably can't hear the audio but uh, it's just random music and random sound effects it's not too important i'll turn it up a little bit more though i guess to make it a little more enjoyable all right all right so as you can see uh that locked one right there is the jelly so i need to try and get three greens in a row so i need to get these greens to come down to make it easier or i can use this little special thing to try and zap it out and hopefully we get some close to it there we go all right now that it's unlocked i can do things like oh i can't move this up uh one second then what can i do i guess i can move that there we go i can do things like this now and then it spreads the jelly because <clears throat> it's connected and that's my job objective to spread it and if i spread it all the way with my 25 moves left by the way it kind of tells you uh ones that match but that's not always going to be the best option so i kind of it's kind of annoying i don't know if i can turn that off or not um all right this can spread more jelly Let's see another way there we go oops that probably wasn't good there we go oh no that didn't work either this will probably there we go So yeah, this is a fun little game and you earn Satoshi's doing it. So, you know, if you're playing video games like Counter-Strike and all, I mean, they're fun and all. And I guess if you're trying to go pro, that's fine too. And like trying to win tournaments to win money or doing face it tournaments. Face it's pretty cool for um, Bitcoin or not Bitcoin for uh, earning money from playing games and stuff, even if you're not pro. But <clears throat> when it comes to like this game, this game is so easy. It's single player and you earn Satoshi's from it literally perfect so if you're someone who's like obsessed with candy crush you might as well play this instead because at least you'll actually make money from it so you're not just wasting any time i mean of course playing video games is just fun for the enjoyment but if you can make money money while doing it too then why not of course it's nothing you're going to be able to do make a living off of even if you like speed run these and are become pro i mean i don't think it's going to reach anywhere near that uh, okay let's see what else can we do two moves left i don't think i'm gonna succeed with spreading the jelly on the foley on here one move left yeah so it looks like it says level failed uh, do you want to continue i just exit out because <clears throat> i'm not trying to lose any satoshis then i just click again anyways um I'm going to end the video here. It's really fun, but I'm almost 10 minutes in, so I'm not going to redo the level, but you do earn Satoshis when you win. I wish I could have won that one to give you guys a good example, but I've also shown you in my uh, balance, I have 212, and that's from playing mainly sugar sats, probably a bit of some other ones as well. I'll show you the other ones in different videos and how they all work and the games they have so far. But yeah, I really like the Elixir app. I'll have my referral down in the description right here. Uh, I have, I guess, for Sat Shooter. I don't know. But anyways, I'll have a referral down in the description. So then I think we both get something. I think you'll get a free NFT as well. I think I can use a, a referral for that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more future content like this. And let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about these pay, uh, pay to earn video games with uh, blockchain Bitcoin and just uh, minimal, these very small transaction amounts, uh, micro transactions using lightning wallets and just the lightning network with Bitcoin and earning it from playing video games. Because personally, I really like it. I've always really been big into esports and thinking there should be more ways for the average person or even the competitive level of person to earn some type of money even if it's not the big bucks so i think this is a really cool way to do it all right see you guys later in my next video